Cube Land. I am Pampered Duchess, and this is Space Engineers. Welcome back. As we left off, I was sitting here and going through and building the miner. And the sun hasn't really left us too much, so it's still twilight. It's not too bad. We should be okay. I don't think we're gonna have a problem with cyber hounds. So, let's get to work. Now, I did go ahead and just for the sake of the intro and whatnot, I did take off my crosshair. Did I put it back on? Come on. Okay. There we go. So, we have engines to build. Let's see what kind of components we're gonna need for these. Motors, grids, steel tubes. I got pretty much everything else on me, so that'll work. I am just really hoping we get this thing done and get it tested this episode. That would make me very, very happy. Sorry, I'm ditzing for a moment. I'm just gonna go ahead and start my timer. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> my phone was being dumb. Anyway, so what we need is metal grid, motors, and large steel tubes. And I'm only gonna get a couple of those to start with. Because I have a lot of crap in my inventory. Because <laughs> I'm like, things and stuff. Okay, these are our reverse thrusters. They're usually going to help get us out of the uh, mine and whatnot. And I thought about going through and doing something kind of interesting. I haven't really thought of a name for this thing yet. And hey, it could be fun to do some interactive stuff, I guess. And what I could do with you guys is like, hey, we need to name the miner. So... Oh, okay, crouch and weld. So I thought about doing a straw pole. And I thought about a couple of different ways to do that. But the one that sticks out in my head as one that could really work is, you know, getting some interactivity between you guys and me is go ahead and, oop, I'm running out of motors go ahead and leave a comment with your nomination of the name for the miner. And those that are watching the channel can go ahead and vote up. I can't be low on iron yet. Anyway, <clears throat> go ahead and vote up the name nomination that you like the most and the one with the most votes will win and that'll be the name of the that'll be the name of the miner sound like a good idea to you guys kind of sounded like a pretty good one to me and i like having some interactivity with my viewers I know the last couple of videos I've gotten uh, some good comments and whatnot. I've been like, yay, I get to talk to people! Woot! That made me kind of happy. Not gonna lie. Okay, moving around. Come on, bugger. Get these things welded up. Ah, now I'm out of tubes. 
want to wind. Ah. I got a bunch of them in here, so I came prepared. I think one of the things I'm going to do as soon as I have the materials and whatnot is I'm going to upgrade my welders. Because one of the upgrades that Keen put into the game, run and jump, is upgraded tools. The tools have different levels of uh, power and efficiency and different things like that. And You know, I have the settings set up pretty high because it's just more conducive for a let's play world and it makes my life easier so I'm okay with everything that makes my life easier and doesn't bore you to tears moment of truth guys it's time to take out the landing gear so what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm gonna go through and dump all my components back into the cargo container here with all the other stuff. I wish it would automatically just kind of go into with its correspondence because if I just double clicked this it would just kind of randomly put it somewhere and I'm like I don't want to do that. I'll put that in the oxygen generator. I don't need it for now. So all I've got is tools, and I've got a gun here for some stupid reason that I don't even, I'm not even using it yet, so. Okay. Here's to death. I lived. Oh my gosh, I lived. Holy crap, I was dreading that part. Because <laughs> just about every other time I've done it, it's been squashed right on top of me. Which I'm like, okay, that was comical. Alright, so the miner stays up on its own. That's a really good test. Now, some of the things we are going to need are going to be staples for a mine. What I wanted to is wait for the genie menu to come up for half a second. Do 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 wasting time. Okay. Don't need the conveyors. We I want a spotlight. Now one of the mods that I usually I don't have it loaded in here, never mind. One of the mods I usually like is the compact antenna, cause aesthetics cause I'm weird. <clears throat> but it doesn't have one. One of the things I kind of want to do is there's an ore detector, but I also have the azimuth mod, and the vanilla ore detector generally goes about 200 meters to detect ores and stuff. The azimuth one is supposed to go 500, but I'm not going to leave that up to chance. So I'm going to try, but it costs a lot of materials. That's the major, major difference, is that it costs a lot of materials. Yeah, big difference. If it works as intended, I'm going to leave it. If not, I'm going to have a crap ton of spare components. So that's fine. I don't really care. I am going to need some... Whoa! Lag. Because <clears throat> I tried to put an ore detector on the bottom of the ship. Okay, I'm going to need... Why do I have... Oh, right. Because of the block and whatnot. Never mind. So, we're going to get... Some of these. Some of these. Um... Interior plates, maybe some bulletproof glass, but we'll see what we need. 
as we build these things. I know I'm gonna need um, why are you coming down? I didn't ask you to come down. Let there be light. I didn't tell you to come down. What are you doing? So. Okay, so it doesn't jump to more than 30%. Oh, that's right. You actually have to have... Yeah, I know. Uh, that was dumb on my part. What I should have done is take some ice with me. Because the cabins do not have oxygen on their own. Which is sort of lame, but okay, whatever. I'm gonna take... a lot of ice. Okay, we'll start with 5k and see how that does in the oxygen system. Because it's got to fill. No, we need the oxygen generators. Thank you. Yeah, that's why my health was low, because it's got to go through the oxygen system. I have to have oxygen in order to breathe. And if you don't have oxygen in your um, cockpits, you will die. Mm, color's all wrong. There we go. Whoa. A bit too much with the gyroscopes here. Too much gyroscope, I think. I think I always overcompensate with gyros. <clears throat> I do not think you need as many gyros on these things as I usually have a habit of putting on them. So we'll probably cut that down, but one thing I want to do first is a mod that I added. Let me go ahead and get over here and view this thing as it comes down, because I want to set it on the ground, but I want to be gentle about it. Ooh. Yeah, she's squirrely. Very squirrely. So, I do not need two gyros on this thing. Seems like these encased gyros are pretty freaking powerful. Yeah, she's gonna be squirrely. But not probably as squirrely as she was. Let's give her a test. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I need to make sure she can actually land on stuff. So, she has no landing gear at the moment. not the color I want. Noticing a theme. There. Everything but the radio communication. 
location components, and that's fine. And then we'll get the ore detector placed. I think that's the front of it. Though with azimuth, it's sometimes hard to tell. <clears throat> we'll have to see if that works. Yeah, she's gonna need motors. components. Okay. Assembler, thank you. We'll get some motors in there. She's too high off the ground. Why did she lift up like that? And now I can't get in my ship. This is awesome! This is going so well, you guys! I think one of the things I'm gonna do is probably put in some sort of, um... I have no steel plates. <clears throat> yeah, the, the yellow you're seeing in the background is, like think the um, building area that you can usually go through and build in, given the parameters of where you started to build your base or whatever. I think so. So, in place of this here... Ah, that was bad. <clears throat> so I have those things in place. What I'm going to do is install a remote control. So that way, life gets a little bit easier. Okay, note to self, do not run and jump. Because that does not pan out well. computers on me. Fibbity gibbets. <laughs> Lots of running back and forth. Sorry, guys. One thing I am going to need to do. Yeah. Is computers. Grab those. And, yeah, a good hundred computers. There we go, remote control. It's still gonna need some more steel plates, but at least it's functioning for now. did go through and do is the mod that I added is um ah maglox I'm going to see huh The 
these are all... Let's see if these work. And what kind of... That's huge. I want the small ones. This works in our favor. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm gonna need to get some more steel plates. Because I still have to finish up the... Uh, and I can put the maglocks onto the ship to help with the landing and whatnot of the ship. So that could be a good um, addition Okay. But I think I'm gonna finish these up. Do not walk under your thrusters. That hurts. I think I'm gonna test it here. And then we'll make a break in the episode. And make two episodes out of this. I don't know. But let's see this thing come in. Um, get the ship. <clears throat> see? It can't be small ship 1229. It has to have some kind of name. And she is anchored. That's her landing gear. She's that far off the ground, but she's anchored. Alrighty. Well, we have a working mining ship. So, I may go through and do some mining off camera with her and let you know how it goes. And maybe we'll do some prettification and different things like that. But you'll have to see that in the next episode. Thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>